بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اینڈ گڈ مارننگ ٹو ایوری ون فرام ملیشیا ایم آئی آڈیبل سم ون کین رائٹ ان دا چیٹ باکس پلیز اور تھینک یو ویری مچ ونس اگین گڈ مارننگ فرام ملیشیا I am Dr. Harun Rashid, the country representative of IEEE Power and Energy Society Day 2020 in Malaysia. Also, I am the Students and Young Professionals Activities Chair at PES Malaysia. So, welcome to IEEE PES Day 2020 webinar series. Uh, some of you are joining once again to us. Thank you very much for coming back to IEEE PES Day 2020 webinar series. Today, with a global audience, not only from Malaysia, coming from different time zones. Some are coming from East, some are coming from West. Thank you very much to everyone uh, for joining this webinar where your time zone is really clashing with us. Uh, some of you are in very early morning. So I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to IEEE PES Day webinar once again. Before we proceed further, I would like to make some housekeeping announcement. Please keep your microphone on mute unless otherwise you are asked by the speaker or by the host to unmute or if you really have to speak anything. If your internet connection is uh, low, please keep the video as well off. Uh, but we don't mind if you keep your video on. All right. So uh today we have a very interesting webinar before i proceed with that i would just like to uh give a little bit introduction what basically ieee power and energy day is so basically ieee pest day 2020 uh, pest day is celebrated in regards to the uh, ieee power and energy society uh, usually it is uh, celebrated every year on 22nd april but this year due to covid 19 Uh, the top management decided not to go with any kind of celebration instead we decided to come up with educational and technical webinars so uh, to keep our young professionals uh, women in engineering and other uh, volunteers active we come up this year with these activities and this is one of the initiative out of it so uh, basically our purpose is to contribute to the future by working on the theme more power to the future with affordable and clean energy so since we cannot go for celebration we are celebrating in in the way of learning and teaching so before i proceed further with the introduction of our uh, speaker today uh, let me just mention here IEEE PES Day 2020 webinar series today's webinar series is basically in conjunction with uh, PES Day uh, and U University Technology Mara in short UITM is the main organizer of this activity together with uh, IEEE UITM student branch and IEEE Power and Energy Society Malaysia chapter so today after me you will hear the voice of the moderator uh who is a student at UITM student branch uh, his name is Ahmad Adli Zakaria uh, so he will moderate this session after me uh, now let me allow me introduce our today's speaker today we have a very well known speaker not only in Malaysia all around the globe in IEEE and as well as uh, the people who are not even from IEEE they know her very well So I welcome Professor Ayer Dr Zuhaina Binte Zakaria Prof Zuhaina are you there I can see your face Uh yes I'm here Harun thank you Thank you very much Prof Zuhaina for being with us so early in the morning and sparing your time So today's talk is a leadership talk and the title is how emotional intelligence can make you a better leader So now I would like to hand over to Ahmad Adli Zakaria the student at UITM so he will moderate the session from now onward thank you very much and over to you Ahmad Adli Okay thank you doctor uh, assalamu alaikum and very good morning from Malaysia okay uh, I am Ahmad Adli Zakaria from IEEE student branch UITM 
And today I will be your moderator for this uh, program talk. Uh, it is uh, IEEE leadership talk um, for how emotional, how em uh, how emotional intelligent can make you a better leader. Uh, before I continue, um, I would like to. Uh, give a little brief about UITM. Uh, Dr. Harun, can I share the slide? Uh, just give me a moment. I allow you to share the slides. Okay, thank you. You may proceed now. Okay, UITM stands for uh, University Technology Mara. It is different uh, between UTM. UTM is for University Technology Malaysia. So we are from um, Faculty of Electrical Engineering, UITM. So as you can see in the picture, uh, that is our dean, Prof. Madia, IR Technologist, Dr. Juliana Johari. So, uh, uh, as you can see in the slide, uh, there is our website of uh, Faculty of Electrical Engineering. Uh, the tower, we are our complex of engineering, uh, it has two towers and we are at the tower two. Okay, uh, this is our location of Faculty of Electrical Engineering alongside with the address. Okay, and our location of our university is located in the Malaysia, the Southeast, as in the map. And we, IEEE, UITM, the branch are located in Malaysia, at the region 10. And as you can see in the slide, there is a, a from a lot of student branch in Malaysia. And this is our counselor of IEEE e, UITS the branch, uh, Associate Prof. IR Dr. No Ashda Salim and Technologist Dr. Saila Subahir. Okay, this is our organization chart. And this is our organization chart for our ESCO. Okay, IEEE e student branch uh, on UITM are focusing on academic, humanitarian, entrepreneurship, and social. So this is our past activity during 2019. And some of the pictures. And this is our um, uh, activities for April 2020 uh, alongside with uh, IEEE PSD. So the, this is our Facebook. As you can see, uh, you can go to IEEE UITM Student Branch Official um, alongside with the Instagram LIS IEEE UITM SB. And this is our social media, as you can see. That's all for me. Okay. Before I hand the session to our speaker, uh, I would like to uh, give a little bit uh, brief on uh, introduce her a little bit. Uh, she is Dr. Zahina Zakaria. She has joined IEEE since 1999 and was elevated to senior member in 2013. She is experienced and committed member of IEEE Malaysia section and was the chair of IEEE section from 2015 and 2016. Okay, she was, she was also the founder of IEEE Malaysia section woman in engineering affinity group which is formed in 2007 
she is also an active volunteer in IEEE Power and Energy Society Malaysia chapter and was the chair of IEEE Ilpes from 2015 to 2016. She has also been appointed as the chapter representative for Region 10 uh, for IEEE since 2015 which require her to monitor to the running of PES chapter in the Southeast Asia. On international level, Dr. Zahina was appointed by Region 10 Director as Region 10 Educational Activities Coordinator for 2017 and 2000, until 2018. She is also a committee member for MGA Geo Unit Operations Support Committee since 2018. And recently, in January 2020, she was appointed as a member IGPE Admission and Advancement Committee and IGPE Pest Long Planning Committee. Uh, before I pass uh, to Dr. Zaina, uh, uh, I would like to remind all the participants to mute the speaker. If there are any question, you may use the chat box below. And if, uh, if you don't mind, you can also unmute and get a question to our speaker. Without further ado, I pass the session to Dr. Zaina. Um, okay, thank you, um, Adli. Um, Adli Zakaria, you, you are my little brother, right? <laughs> uh, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, let me share my um, slide first. Yeah, Assalamualaikum and um, hello everyone. Um, first of all, I would like to um, thank the joint organizers for this event, uh, IEEE PS Malaysia Chapter, IEEE UITM Student Branch and also uh, IEEE UITM PES Student Branch Chapter. Um, okay, um, just a disclaimer, uh, I'm not an expert in this subject eh, because my degree is in electrical engineering, okay? but I'm so fortunate that I have some experiences um, from um, the position that I held either in IEEE or um, in the university. So I just would like to share um, some of the uh, information or tips on um, emotional intelligence. And I really hope that um, this, um, this sharing session will be beneficial to everyone. Okay. Um, okay, let me see how this is going to be. Um, okay, um, uh, now, uh, as Dr. Dr. Harun mentioned just now, um, there are audience from, um, all over um, Malaysia and also Southeast Asia and also, um, I think other parts of the world. So I would like to um, post a one poll here, just to um, just to get some um, uh, overview on where uh, your locations are. Okay, I will share a poll. Uh, let me put up the poll if I can. Um, Uh, let me see. Um, okay. okay. It's very different eh? um, addressing um, audience through webinar. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I just want to know where are you from? Uh, I will post up these questions uh, shortly. Right. Can you see this? Can you see the poll? Yes. Yes, okay. Can you quickly answer the poll? Just want to see um, the logistic of everybody. Okay, uh, I should have 60 respondents. 
from here. Okay, another 17, I've not answered yet. If you are joining from YouTube, you may not be able to see the poll, okay? All right, I think I can close the poll in like 30 seconds. Okay, I'll close the poll. So, and I will share with everyone, if you can see the results. Can you see the results? Uh, it looks like, um, I think, majority are from Asia. Okay, from Asia, but I think some of you may be from um, Thailand. I can see Dr. Mai from IGAD. And we have participant from India, I think, from Bangladesh. So, um, very good morning to those who are in morning here now, okay? But I think if you're from Australia, so maybe it's in the afternoon already. Okay, so let's move on. Um, I think just now, um, Adli has shown a picture of our university. Um, so I'm a faculty member of University Technology Mara at the Faculty of Electrical Engineering. And for those who don't know, you don't know me, I'm based in Shah Alam, Selangor, Malaysia. So this is a very pretty um, mosque in, in Shah Alam. And uh, just a little bit, uh, I think just now Adli has um, shared about our university, but uh, I mean our faculty, but just to um, give some overview on our university, okay? Uh, we are the largest university in Malaysia. Uh, we have branch campus in at least at least one branch campus in each state of Malaysia, okay? And the total campus are 35. Um, our graduate um, is more than 800,000. Our student, our enrollment now is more than 180,000. And um, staff, both admin and also um, academic staff are about 17,000. So, so we are the largest university in Malaysia. Okay. Um, Right. Now, some disclaimer, okay. Um, when I prepared this, this presentation, some of the um, materials are from uh, publication or from trainings that um, produced by various experts, uh, which I do cited. However, in the event of the material which I cannot find the original author, uh, the material was included under fair use regulation, okay. Okay. Um, now, the title of the, the talk is How Emotional Intelligence Can Make You a Better Leader. So before we um, proceed further, um, let's look at the term leader. Okay? This is a famous saying by John C. Maxwell. He's um, a leadership guru uh, who has written many books primarily on leadership and he said that everyone is a leader because everyone influences someone okay meaning that the one who influences someone or influences others is a leader and the one who makes difference um, to others is a leader that means everyone of all, uh, everyone of us now here is a leader okay we can be a leader and uh, then there's also another um, quote from Robin S. Sharma. Um, he's also uh, a very um, famous uh, leadership expert. He said that leadership is not about title or designation. 
is about impact, influence, and also inspiration. So, meaning that uh, we have seen influences came up twice already. Okay, so meaning that everyone should see themselves as a leader. Okay, um, leadership doesn't mean that you have to have some power or you need like to um, you try to change the world. Okay, but it involves a uh, simple um, activities, eh? simple daily activities at home. Okay, if you are a student. Uh, you might be a leader in your own capacity. Okay? If you are um, parents, uh, you are a leader in the family, your husband, wife, or colleagues. Or if you're helping a friend, I mean, that means you are, you, are, you are making a difference to others. So you are a leader um, at, that, at that point of time. Okay. And then there's another um, quote that I would like to share. Uh, this is... Um, from the Prophet Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him. Every one of you is a shepherd and is responsible for his flock. So again here, <coughs> this is a famous hadith that shows responsibility on the shoulder of every um, every one of us. Okay, um, Whether we are parents, we are students, or we are working professionals, we have our own responsibility. Responsibility on um, our action to to ourselves and also to um, people surrounding us. So with that, um, if everyone is a leader, that means we have to try or we have to strive to be a good leader, okay? To be a better leader and to be a the best leader and ultimately to be an effective leader. Because if we learn on how to be a good leader, then this can give a great impact to your team, your organization, and also yourself. Okay. So uh, in order for you to be um, an effective leader, you should understand your own motivation, your strength, and also your weaknesses. So this is very important. Um, because you need to um, uh, work on your weaknesses and also enhance your strength. Okay, moving on. Now, let's consider these situations. Okay? Now, uh, we have two situations here. Situation one, a leader that shouts and criticizes his or her team when under stress or a leader that is in control and calmly assess the situation. So who do you think that would uh, more likely to succeed? Maybe you can quickly uh, type on the chat box. Situation one or two? Which one? Which one do you think? Okay, I can see here some responses. Okay, good. So I think majority of you agree that situation two um, is clearly shows an effective leader. Okay, compared to situation one. Because why? Because critically, uh, I mean clearly, leaders in situation two use emotional intelligence. Okay, uh, use emotions. Um, to, to the, um, I mean, in a better way. Anybody of you say situation one? No? Okay, good. So, what is this emotional intelligence? We know about IQ. Okay? Everybody knows about IQ. IQ stands for intelligent quotient that measure a person's intelligence level. If you have IQ... Uh, about 140, you are considered as um, a high IQ, an huh? uh, uh, intelligent uh, person. If you have more than um, 160, you are a genius, right? So on the other hand, there's also another index called Emotional Quotient Index. Uh, we can call it EI or EQ. Okay? Uh, so in my presentation, I will use both terms, eh? EQ or EI. So this uh, EQ refers to a person's ability to understand 
his or her emotion along with other person's emotion. That means you'll be able to understand your own uh, emotion and also what are the impact of your emotion to you yourself and also to other people surrounding you. Okay. Um, so why does emotion very important? Every day, we deal with emotion. Okay. We might be happy today, we might be sad tomorrow, or on the same day, we have several emotions, okay? joyful, confident, and so on. So why does these emotions really, really important? Because these emotion influence and also change the way you think and you perform. Okay. Because um, as um, another um, quote say here, what happens to you, okay, life is 10% what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it. Okay, this is from Charles Windows, another uh, famous educator. Okay, it says that uh, no matter what happened to you, either good or bad, but it's not important um, the thing that happened to you, but how you react to it. Okay, so that's why emotions are um, very important because if you um, fail to control the emotion, you might be react wrongly. Okay, uh, when, when something happens to you, the only thing that you can do is that either you accept it or you resent it. That means you are in charge of your own attitudes. Okay, so that is why emotion is very important in your life and emotional intelligence will make you a better person. Okay, now let's look at the history of EQ. Uh, it's all started in 1930s uh, from one article by an author named E.L. Tondike. Uh, he's actually um, a psychologist from Columbia University and he coins the term social intelligence. Social intelligence means the ability to um, uh, interact with other people. And then there are some other researches going on, uh, but it's not until 1990s when it is really becomes very popular. Okay? Uh, in 1990, there's two psychologists, another psychologist defined the, emotional, uh, defined the terms emotional intelligence. And then uh, it becomes popular when um, Daniel Goleman starts uh, emotional intelligence explosion from his book. Okay, you can see the, the picture of the book there. It's titled, What It Can Matter More Than IQ, eh? Emotional Intelligence. So this is when um, it becomes very um, widely used. Eh? If you Google um, Daniel Goldman, you can see many reference um, to him as um, the one that starts eh? emotional intelligence. So um, uh, the key component uh, of EQ, as stated by Daniel Goleman, uh, there are five of them. Uh, it starts with self-awareness, and then self-regulation, motivation, and then also social skills and empathy. So we will look at the um, definition uh, of each of these components in the uh, next slide. For self-awareness, this is actually um, the ability to recognize and, on, and also understand your moods, emotion, and drive, as well as their effect on the others. So self-awareness is uh, one of the most important skills for success. Okay? Because those who um, have these skills uh, is said to be more, uh, more confident, eh? um, and uh, he or she can really um, self-assess themselves. Eh? They know what are their weaknesses, they know what are their strengths. And if there are um, some um, shortcomings, they, they can point out in, um, in, in a good sense of humor. Okay? If, you, if uh, this person makes mistake, it is, um, they, they can accept eh? whatever mistake that, that they are doing. So this is a very important skill, okay? self-awareness. Then uh, the next one, we have self-regulation. So this is also um, within yourself, okay, within ourselves. This is um, the ability uh, to control or redirect disruptive impulses and moods. Because um, uh, the skill is the ability to think before you act. Okay? Because 
whatever your act will impact other people. So, so if you can control or if you can uh, check first, uh, is that um, a good um, action that I want to make? Okay, uh, then you will be um, better control of your emotion. So, um, this kind of um, skill will uh, promote um, trustworthiness and also integrity and also uh, openness to change. And then we have self-motivation. Uh, this is when we have a passion to work uh, for reasons that go beyond money okay, or status. Okay? I'm, I'm sure that uh, some of us here, or maybe most of us here now, um, um, are to be volunteers. Okay? As an ITP volunteer, there's no financial um, benefit okay? or, or power or things like that. But because of your passion to work with IEEE, you you um, do all the things, okay? So you you pursue your goals with energy and also persistence. So this kind of uh, skills um, is a strong that strong drive uh, to achieve success, and also um, you can be um, uh, you are very optimis optimistic, okay? even though in the face of failure. And then the fourth components are empathy. Empathy is when you try to see things from other person's view. Okay? You, you are able to understand the emotional uh, of other people and also you'll be able to treat people according to their emotional reactions. Eh? Uh, or um, to put a simple way that you are able to put yourself in other person's shoes. It's either your, your colleague, your, your boss, okay? your family, and so on. So, because sometimes we only see from our view, but how it is uh, if we can understand it from other perspective. So empathy also is very important to um, increase your emotional intelligence. And the final key components are social skills. So this is when you manage uh, your relationship um, with other people and also you build networking yeah, and build rapport uh, with um, the community, with your colleague, your friends. So um, this skill will um, assist you in um, effectively leading changes in, in your organization and you'll be able to um, resolve um, conflict. And um, you have, you will have a uh, uh, expert eh, in building and also leading others. So if we um, summarize these key components, we can see that um, there are two categories. Okay? One is uh, personal skills, that means how we manage ourselves. This is from the component self-awareness, self-regulation and also motivation. And the other category is how you handle relationship with others. Okay? Uh, when you have empathy, that means you understand others, um, social skills, you have influence to others, you have better communication, uh, and also collaboration and cooperation. So these are um, five key components of EQ uh, that we can categorize into personal skills and also social skills. So there are many actually signs of high EQ. I just list twelve here. Okay, uh, how do you know that the person or you yourself, okay, uh, have high EQ? Okay, one is you think about feelings. Okay, meaning that you can recognize your own feelings, and also you can um, you can recognize the impact of the feelings to you and to people around you, okay? Um, the second one is you pause. Okay, remember self-regulation just now? Means you pause and you think before you act, okay? Um, because whatever your action or what um, um, your words, right, you impact others. So, if you want to say something or you do something, maybe you can ask three questions. Okay? The one is, 
um, do you have to say it now? Okay. Uh, or do you have to say it now um, by you? Okay. Or you can just let it go. Okay. So if if it is um, if you answer yes for this, that means that is the right time that you need to maybe you need to give some um, advice or warning. Then uh, let be. But if you think that um, it is not a right time, whatever uh, your words can uh, give negative impact to people, then you stop. Okay. Uh, so the ability to self control is very important. This is also related to number three. Uh, you strive uh, to control your talk, uh, your thoughts. Okay, so this is again um, by um, by doing this, you are not you are not a slave to your emotions. Okay, but you can um, I mean live harmony uh, your emotion with your goals and also your values. And number four, you benefit from criticism. Okay. Uh, if you receive negative criticism, you use it to um, check yourself and to ask uh, how you can improve things, eh? how to become uh, better. And then um, you show authenticity, okay? meaning that uh, you walk the talk. Okay? You, you mean what you say and also you say what you mean, right? And sticking to your values and also your, your principles. And six, again, we can see here, you demonstrate empathy. Okay? Empathy is one of the key components just now. Empathy means that you, um, you include uh, understanding um, other, other people's feelings. Eh? Um, you help connect uh, with others instead of uh, judging them. Okay? Um, also labeling. You, you work hard to see things differently from their view. And um, seven, you praise others. You know, human being like to be appreciated, eh? like to receive um, compliments. Eh? So if you do this, you have um, initiate the um, the trust okay? uh, in, in in the process. Uh, and number eight, you give helpful feedback. Okay, so we we reframe the negative feedback into um, as constructive feedback so that um, the recipient of this feedback will see that as helpful to them, not, not harmful to them. And number nine, you apologize. Okay? Most of the time, um, it doesn't mean that we are wrong, okay? but it means that we, we value the relationship uh, more than our ego. Number 10, you forgive and forget. So meaning that uh, you prevent your, your, your emotions. Um, I mean, you prevent from holding your emotions and um, that will help you to move on eh, and move forward. 11, you keep your commitments. So if you have a habit that keep to your promises, okay, uh, you build reputation of uh, re reliability and also... Um, trustworthiness and finally you help others okay uh, there's there's no better way uh, to positively impact other people um, other than to, to help them okay so that are signs of high eq uh, again there's also sign of low eq or low emotional intelligence um, if you Google this, you can see many of these qualities. I mean, not qualities, but many of the signs. But I just put four here. One is being argumentative, okay? Not listening, okay? Because if we want to um, start a um, relationship or, I mean, to maintain a good networking with other people, you, we have to practice um, active listening, okay? Blaming others and also emotional outbursts. So if you have this, uh, maybe you have to work on it, uh, on how to um, reduce uh, um, these um, attributes. So um, with emotional intelligence, a leader is able to continuously monitor their own emotions 
and at the same time uh, monitor others uh, emotion and this will uh, encourage positive change in the organization so the purpose of this is solely to enhance organization performance so when i talk about organizations it's organization organization on, on uh, i mean in your own capacity maybe your your company um, your your societies uh, your family and so on so now we have looked at the key component of eq and um, what they can do to um, people to leaders so let assess your eq so I hope um, uh, Adli they can uh, type the um, link to the chat box, okay? or maybe you can also um, take this URL. Okay, if you go to this link, okay, if you go to this link, you will see this page. Okay, how emotionally intelligent are you? There are 10 questions. Okay, there are 10 questions. You scroll down, you can see 10 questions. Answer all 10 questions. And after you complete the final question, the 10 question, um, your result will, will appear there. Okay, so maybe we can have um, two, three minutes to um, to do this. Maybe, or maybe three to four minutes. Eh? Let's see. It's not a very difficult question, but you have to answer honestly. You got your results. Anyone would like to share your results? Actually, there are a lot of tests eh, that you can use to, um, to check your EQ, uh, either free um, <clears throat> free test or a paid one. Um, some of them have many questions, like 40 questions. This is just um, a very simple, uh, quick test that you can use to gauge yourself. So you may have results like um, either you are high emotional intelligence or you are uh, average, we have average emotional intelligence.
Wow. Okay. We have one here. Amma Adli. High emotional intelligence. Very good. Okay. So you don't need to listen to this uh, seminar. <laughs> Okay, so um, no matter what is your score, okay, we can always improve because EQ is not like IQ. Okay, IQ, um, as you age, maybe you 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 cannot improve. You if you um if you sit for Mensa test, if your IQ is hundred twenty, then it remain hundred twenty, or maybe it just increase a bit. You cannot be genius, eh? But EQ is something that you can develop and um, there's a research saying that uh, as you age, your e emotional intelligence will be higher. Okay. Um, so if you look at the results, you see what are the areas that you are not strong. Okay. And find a way of how you can improve. Okay. Um, uh, you, what are the things that you need to um, um, learn okay, uh, and improve on. But if you have uh, many strong points, okay, so use that. Okay? Find a way on how to continue to develop your high strong points and also to apply. Okay? When should you apply okay, the skills? So use that. So that would be, um, would be beneficial to, uh, in, in, your, uh, in your success uh, career. So I think everyone has uh, complete this. Okay, so I can move on to the next slide. Okay. So how to raise your uh, emotional IQ uh, or EQ? There are many, many techniques actually. Um, if you Google, you can see that some, some of the techniques involve um, breathing exercise um, or physical exercise, okay? But most of the thing that you can use here is um, stay calm, yeah? stay calm under pressure, especially now uh, during this pandemic where we have to stay at home. So you need to stay calm. Um, don't react defensively to criticism. Remember that um, Criticism is something that we can use to improve ourselves. So, so we have to assess uh, when we receive criticism. And don't jump to conclusions because you need to be um, able to listen. Okay? Uh, listen, you need to be able to assess the situation before you can jump to conclusion. And remember empathy, meaning that see things from um, another's perspective. Uh, willing to admit their mistakes and also improve your communication skills. Okay? Communication skills are very, very important. You need to uh, be able to uh, portray or communicate with people. And also, uh, this is a two-way uh, communication strategies. You also need to listen, um, I mean, when you uh, relate to other people. So if you have both, okay, IQ and EQ, uh, Daniel Goldman said that IQ will get you hired, but EQ will get you promoted. Okay, as a student, you might have um, high CGPA for flat, but you need also to work on your EQ. Okay? Initially, when you um, apply for a job, maybe the employer will look at your academic, eh, your IQ. But once you start working, they will assess on your EQ. So um, if you have a high EQ, there's a high possibility that you will be, uh, I mean, promoted or also, or you, you may have, um, I mean, you will be given opportunities eh, to, to get higher in your So meaning that with both, with both IQ and EQ, that would be good to success. So that means we do not only want a high uh, IQ, but we also need to enhance our EQ skills. Okay? 
So before I end, uh, okay, let me see. I think um, okay. I would like you to just quickly type on the chat box. What is your main takeaway from this seminar? From from whatever you have listened to me, what will be your main action? Okay. Dr. Mai, what is your main action? Okay, Hussein, all right, improve your emotional intelligence. Very good. So next time when you um, do the test again, you can have high, high EQ. Okay, no fazila, try not to get emotional. All right, very good. Keep it coming. Okay, maybe reflect on how I should handle the problem. Right, that's good. Okay. Right. So, yeah. This is not just um, uh, putting on the chat box, okay? I hope that you take this, okay? Um, and try to implement it, okay? Um, so, so this can be a bit very, very, very beneficial to you. All right, so I'm uh, on my last slide now. This is from Jack Ma. Okay. Jack Ma said that to be successful leader, you need emotional quotient to the intelligent quotient, but he added another one, love quotient. So I guess we need to have another session to talk about love quotient. Okay. <laughs> Because I'm sort of not sure what his love quotient is, but this is from Jack Ma, and you know that he's very successful. So, um, I guess that's all that I can share. Uh, thank you very much. Or if there's any question and answer session. Very much. So, Korea. Hi, how are you? Hi. 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 <laughs> Nice to meet you here. It's very, very good presentation. Thank you. Okay, I'll pass back to moderator. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Zaina. Um, I believe uh, there is no question. Or there is any question from the audience? Can, can we also ask, okay, um, there's a question here. Uh -uh. Uh, okay, what? What are your views that in the current day and age, um, they are forced persona to progress in their careers? In workplaces, we can also see these people progress faster than those who are more tiny. Mm, okay, yeah, because actually, um, if you look at the iceberg, okay, we can only see we can only see the tip of the iceberg. Okay, but the rest of that, their intention, okay, um, the things that we cannot see. So. If this happen, it means that the leader also cannot really um, understand, or the leader also has been uh, what got blinded by the by the personality. Okay, uh, I'm sure that um, yes, they can progress fast, but they will last long. Okay, uh, perseverance and the true. Um, through a personality will, will appear eh? sooner or later. Okay. Uh, I would like to request if everyone can um, on your video so we can see who are here today. <clears throat> there are 64 participants. Uh, maybe organizer can take picture or something. Uh, 
I think I stop sharing my my presentation. Uh, Doctor, there is another question. Uh, that is from Haiza from the Webex. How to handle other person EQ that may affect our EQ? Okay. Um, one way to do this is to be frank. Okay, to be frank. Uh, remember that we said that uh, we have to uh, post or provide constructive criticism. Okay. It's not that we would like to criticize them, but we would like them to improve. So the way we 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 frame the uh, criticism is is in a positive way, so that the person that receive that um, will see that this is not uh, something negative, but this is something for their own good. Okay, I know it is uh, easier said than done, but um, this is something that someone have to do it. Okay, or else the person will keep on um keep on like that. Aiza, I hope you uh I mean I hope I answer your question, Aiza. Okay, thank you, Aiza, for the question. Is there another question? Uh, Doctor, we have another question. Yeah. What do you think about power of love and empathy can affect someone's EQ? Mm. Um, as we can see that empathy and also um, love is something that Jack Ma has really um, introduced, but it is actually in in the EQ, okay? in empathy and also social skills. Okay, And it's really very... Uh, Powerful, okay, because in this um, um, time now where you can see uh, social media, uh, this, this cyber bullying, things like that. So, the power of love and also empathy can really affect eh, our EQ. We all, we, everybody of us need some empathy, okay. Uh, that is Iqbal. Okay, Iqbal, I hope I can I answer your question. Okay, can okay, Naz Nazan. How to have a good balance between IQ and EQ? Okay. First of all, you need to know yourself. Okay. Like the test, the short test that we take just now, that is one way to know your strength and also your weaknesses. So if you can see what is your weaknesses, for example, maybe um, you um, bad temper, for example. So you you have to um, improve on that. Okay, and if you have some other strong skills, maybe you are very good in listening, communication skills. So use that uh, in in your uh, whatever whenever you um, have opportunity. For example, if you then if you have opportunity to, to talk or to be um, MC or something, so you you show that, yeah? uh, so that people can can see that. Uh, so that would be uh, one way eh, to, to balance your IQ. Eh? IQ is something that you cannot, you can just, you cannot really increase. Okay? Uh, the way you to, to, to do that is by, by maybe doing some memory techniques and things like that. But EQ is something you can develop over time. Okay, any other question? Um, there's, there's a lot of good um, takeaway that I see here from the chat box. Uh, from Dr. Mai, Dr. Titi Pon, influence others with inspiring others. That's good. Very good. Okay, Adli, uh, anything else? I think that's, that's all from our session, Dr. Uh, last question. Is there another question? <laughs> 
Last one, last one. If they, if they want. Ah, uh, okay. I can see everybody now. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for listening to this webinar. I'm really, I'm really glad to do this. I hope we can have this kind of session uh, next time. Uh, organizer, you want to take pictures or something that we can post on our social media? <laughs> Yeah, I, I would take it. Okay. Okay. Everybody smile. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, there is the internet connection problem. There's so many pages, right? Uh, yes, yes. Too many, the internet cannot support it. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's our limitation. But I can see some family names. Even though I cannot see your face. Can you see me? Um, who's that? Is that Jira Wadi? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, I think that's what the attention you, you in, in your in your future. Hi, so Hope to see you again. Okay. Virtually or in real. Right. Okay, Dr. Harun. Okay, um, okay, thank you, Doctor. Uh, before I pass the oh. session to Dr. Harun, uh, I would like the audience to fill up the uh, Google form, the uh, feedback form that I've been post in the chat box. So, kindly appreciate uh, your guys' cooperation. And on behalf on ICPE Student Branch, ITM, uh, I would like to uh, thank you for all the audience to participate in this uh, program. Uh, thank you, Prof. Zuhaina, on the sharing. Uh, also, thank you uh, for the ITM, uh, IEEE PES, IEEE PES Day for letting us to organize the program. So, uh, that's all. So, I pass the session to uh, Dr. Harun. Thank you. Thank you very much, Adli. <laughs> And thank you very much to uh, Dr. Zohaina as well for, for giving us a wonderful session. Okay, so take, take home message for me today for myself is IQ plus EQ. Both can bring you the success. So if you want to be a successful leader, you need to focus on both. But we need to learn the third thing what uh, Jack Ma has mentioned love quotient so probably we should hear from uh, prof zuhana soon about this <laughs> i think i need to to meet jack ma first <laughs> <laughs> yeah after the mco is over and things get settled down so uh, uh, with this uh, uh, take home message i will say that we have learned a number of things today and we have also uh, seen from the uh, quiz that we have gone through uh, that where we stand what we need to develop in us and, and uh, what are the things that we have to focus more on it 
So uh, with this, I would like to uh, conclude this webinar today uh, on behalf of IEEE Power and Energy Society Malaysia chapter. Uh, I would like to thank you first of all to Professor Ayah Dr. Zuhaina Bindezikriya for being agreed to be the speaker for today's talk and spend your time early in the morning. And uh, afterwards, I will say thanks to UITM student branch and UITM. Uh, for organizing this event and thank you very much to all the participants coming from east to west in fact we have seen one participant from panama so now we are really from east to west uh, which is a really good thing that people are coming to listen and learn the things taking advantage of lockdown or mco wherever whatever is the situation so technology is bringing all of us uh, uh, together through this medium. So please don't lose any hope. Uh, inshallah, one day, by God willing, this pandemic will go away. So I will just quote uh, Prof. Zuhaina, stay calm. So with this, stay calm, stay safe, and stay at your home. Uh, just continue learning. And we hope to see you soon in our next webinar. Till then, take care of yourself. Thank you to everyone once again. So have a nice day. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum. Bye everyone. Take care. Thank you, Dada. Bye. Thank you. Welcome. Bye. Bye.